Hello, Nick family. Welcome to my channel, Dope Soul Sports Talk, a member of the NBK Network. Today, I'm going to share with you my New York Knicks big board, the five players I would draft with the number 11 pick in the upcoming NBA draft in descending order. And there's a big change at number three. Let's get to it. At number five is Malachi Branham. He's a 19-year-old, 6-foot, 5-inch, 195-pound wing from Ohio State who averaged 13.7 points, 3.6 rebounds, 2 assists, shot 49.8% from the field, 41.6% from 3, and 83.3% from the line in his lone season there where he was also the Big Ten Freshman of, of the year. I really like him. He's a three-level scorer who's efficient. He shoots well off the catch as well as the dribble. He is a maestro in the mid-range, his favorite spot it appears, but he can also hit the three and get to the rim. He's not an explosive guy, but he's fluid in his movements with a smooth shot that knows how to get to his spots. He has a mature game, plays with patience, has a soft touch. He's an okay playmaker, not very athletic, but again, knows how to get to his spots. He needs to improve his defensive awareness, shooting off the dribble from three, as well as his ball handling. He may need a screen to get off shots against athletic defenders, but he wouldn't be the first. And he does what our current wing players don't do, and that is score on all three levels efficiently. I really like him. And though I have him at number five on my board, I wouldn't be mad one bit if the Knicks drafted him. Johnny Davis, six foot six inch, 225 pound wing out of Wisconsin who averaged 19.7 points, 8.2 rebounds, 2.1 assists, shot 42.7% from the field, 30.6% from three, and 79.1% from the free throw line. Johnny Davis is tough. I'll start with that. He wasn't a top 100 prospect coming out of high school. As a freshman at Wisconsin, he averaged seven points and four rebounds. He made a significant leap from his freshman season where he played with a lot of seniors to a sophomore season where he was that guy. I like that he had to work his way up. He's not the only one that's had to do it though. As for his game, he's another one that's very good in the mid range with a soft touch, but it doesn't stop there for him. He's also a slasher that attacks the basket, can post up smaller guards, and has the potential to be a three level scorer at the next level. He plays both ends of the floor and works to get back into the play when screened off. He also plays the passing lanes very well. He's a very good rebounder for his size and has a really good motor. He needs to work on his three-point shooting. He shot about 30% from three this past season. He wasn't very efficient from the field overall, shooting just 42.7%. But I think that has a lot to do with the role he played at Wisconsin. He was that guy for them and had to take tough contested shots late in the shot clock and was the focal point of the opposing team. I think his shooting will improve when he's in a different role and being set up for shots. He also has to improve his playmaking as well as his ball handling. He is NBA ready and has a high floor. I'm just not as convinced of his ceiling as others are. I don't see star, but that doesn't mean he won't be. And he's another one I'd be happy if the Knicks drafted in the upcoming draft. Number three, Jalen Duran, six foot 11, 250 pound center out of Memphis, who averaged 12 points, 8.1 rebounds, two point good motor, though this has been questioned by some. He has to improve his free throws, his feel for the game, passing, and continue to improve in the post as well as his face up shooting. But he brings something we don't already have, a rim running, shot blocking big that can also operate in the post and shoot at short range. And this is why he's moved up on my big board from number five to number three. Listen, I get it. A wing has a better chance of being a star in this league than a center does, but you have to hit on that wing prospect. Doran changes things for the Knicks and he changes it right away. If we happen to lose Mitchell Robinson in free agency, I truly believe Doran can start as a rookie and be very effective. 
in a vacuum, I can't argue with anyone that believes Johnny Davis may be a better prospect. But when you factor in the center position on this Knicks roster and the current as well as potential offensive and defensive skill level that Dorman has, it'll be hard to pass him up if he's sitting there at number 11. Number two, Dyson Daniels. Six foot seven inch, 200 pound point guard shooting guard from G League Ignite, who averaged 11.6 points, 4.8 assists, 6.6 rebounds, shot 45.5% from the field, 30% from three, and 73.3% from the free throw line. I like his size and length. I love his feel for the game, which shows in his playmaking and court vision. I like his defensive versatility to defend the one through four position and especially his ability to defend at the point of attack. He fights through screens to get back into the play. He plays the passing lanes well. He averaged 1.9 steals per game in the G League and 0.7 blocks. He operates well out of the pick and roll. He's a good rebounder. He moves the ball ahead in transition instead of pounding the ball up the court wasting transition opportunities. He has a very good floater, will post up smaller defenders. He has to improve his ball handling, his shot creation abilities, as well as his shooting, but did show improved shooting during his pro day. I love his confidence. During an interview, he said that after improving his shot, he has no weaknesses. Oh, and he reports that he's currently six foot eight inches. In a vacuum, I like Matherin better. I think Matherin has a better chance to be a star. However, Daniels brings something we currently don't have. Someone with length who can defend multiple positions, especially defend at the point of attack, who can handle playmaking responsibilities, whether you see him as a point guard or not. Because of his defensive versatility and potential scoring and playmaking, he is number two on my big board. Number one, Benedict Matherin, six foot six inch, 195 pound wing out of Arizona, who averaged 17.7 points, 5.6 rebounds, 2.5 assists, shot 45% from the field, 36.9% from three, and 76.4% from the free throw line in his sophomore season at Arizona. I like that similar to Branham, he's a three level efficient scorer, a slasher with good burst, He's a very good spot up shooter from three. He's engaged offensively off the ball with cuts to the basket. Decent mid range game. Can be the primary ball handler in the pick and roll sets and make basic reads. He's a good on ball defender when locked in. Explosive going to the rim. He's a decent rebounder. He needs to improve his defensive awareness, effort, and consistency, as well as shot creation, playmaking, and shooting off the dribble. I really doubt that Matherin will be available at the 11th pick, but while the things have happened on draft night. And if he's there, despite the glut of wings that we currently have, I put my money on him to beat out at least one of them and make it into the rotation. That's it for my New York Knicks big board as of June 12, 2022. If there's any changes, I'll be back with another one. Be sure to join me and the Nothing But Knicks family at the second annual draft party in Atlantic City on June 23rd. I'll be there and we'll be covering the draft with a live podcast. The link is in the description. Until next time, family, be easy.